Hello, hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Audrey, and this is my first playthrough of Kingdom Come Deliverance. We're on part 13. And if you don't know me, I'm a variety gamer. I play anything from AAA to indie, as long as it has a good story, I would say. So this one is a good one. Let's get into it. Okay, what time is it? It's the morning, perfect. So today, we're gonna go to Ujits. We're finally gonna go to Ujits. I'm not gonna get distracted. I'm not gonna get distracted. And no one is gonna tell me otherwise. And that's it. I'm just gonna go to Ujits. Because I need to find the Neuhof Bandit. And I know that it's far. I know, but we have to. We have to. Sir Bernard trusted me with a quest. And I need to show him gratitude for teaching me the Master Strike and for saving my life. So, come on, Mutt. We do not dilly dally today. I'm gonna buy some Savior Schnapps. Some bandages. And we'll be off. Come on up and take a look. I've got everything you need. Day or night, at home or at work. Great. I would need... What are those? Onions. And some bread rolls. Smells fresh. Well, I need Greetings, some food. good night. How may I serve Good night. How may I serve you? Wow. Well, I'd like some Savior Schnapps, please. Savior Schnapps. They're expensive, but I need them. And what is filling but cheap? Some pretzels? Some pretzels! I shall buy three. And let's haggle. I'd like to discuss the price. Mm, all right, so. Satisfied? Well, now a little more and we'll shake on it. Finally, a reasonable sum. There you go. Great. Do you have bandages? I didn't notice. Ah. I'm gonna buy... So I have two on me. I'm gonna buy... Eight. And I'm gonna sell... My common shield. Don't need that. And yeah, that's it. Can we do something about the price? Great. So... We're off to Ujits. I could... Stop by Tolmberg. There's a lot of bandits in these woods right here. But on pebbles, we'll make it through. So, let's go.
So apparently it's not necessarily faster on a horse, I know, but it's easier to run away from bandits. Okay. There's ominous music, but that's fine. I'm gonna go on foot. Well, not on foot. I'm gonna go, I'm not gonna fast travel. I'm gonna go on pebbles because I want to discover what's on the map here. Yeah! in the world did I not go in the right direction well there's something here conciliation cross no that's not it archery range okay Here. Yeah. I think this is the road. Yeah. Are these haystacks? Yeah. What's this? I know I said I wouldn't get distracted, but look at this view. We have to check it out. What is this? A haystack? Why is it shaped like that? I wonder if this is how they did it in the medieval times because there's such attention to detail in this game. Okay. I'm sorry, Pebbles. I'm not gonna leave you again. I... I just wanted to check out the haystacks. Yeah. Now, where to? We shall go... We shall go to the right, to the left. Yeah. Yeah. And we shall go again. Straightforward. I wonder what Ujits looks like. What kind of city? Like, what's the vibe? What's the style? Is this a farm? Yeah. Come on, pebbles. An inn? Looks like an inn. What is this? We have to check it out. Wait here. Come with me, Mutt. Who are you? Are you there? Come over here and let me whisper something in oh, your no. ear. What is this place? What kind of 
establishment do you run, sir? Andrew? Good day to you. What do you need? I need a smile. And what happened? <laughs> What's happening around here? How's trade? Any trouble around these parts? Nothing we can't handle. Okay. Training. Mm. For you right here. What do you sell? I, care now. I could sell my chicken. But I could also cook it. You seem unbothered. Can I cook something here? Drop into pot. I can't. I could eat something. Here, enjoy it. Oh, they're playing dice? Boy. Ah, oh, there's a quest. Well, we'll come back. We'll come back because, as I said, nothing is stopping me from going to Ujits. So we need to move on. And the music was lovely. Can you hear that, Pebbles? It's great. Okay. I know I'm checking the map a lot, but I have no GPS. Okay, let's go in these woods. There's gonna be bandits. Should I save? Yes. I have decided I learned my lesson. Yeah. There's a fork in the road. What's here? There's smoke. I'll go straight ahead. Yeah. I don't trust these woods. Straight ahead again. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Mutt. We don't have much visibility here. I do not like it, even though it's gorgeous. What is this place? Is it... Tolmberg? I don't think so. Ah, uh, yes it is, actually. Okay. We could cross the river and go through the woods or we could go here, maybe. 
Sure, let's go through Tolmberg. Yeah! Yeah. We'll go through the farm. Yeah. Hey, wait a moment. What do you want? I have nothing stolen on me. You're the young fellow who came here from Scalitz half dead, aren't you? Yes? Possibly. Yes, that'll be me. Why? Well, the lady of the castle was asking after you. She wants to talk to you. Ah, I'll go huh. and see her then. Thank you. Very well. Don't make her wait. God be with you. Really? Okay. Talk to Stephanie. Don't you know, you do not walk behind Damn. a horse. Stay you away can't from get hurt. If you can't ride a horse, you moron. Okay. <laughs> now, I I'm just passing through for now. So, I won't... Hmm, should I say hi? I don't think so. I think I should just go to Ujits. This is very hard for me not to stop yeah. and talk with everybody. But I'm on a mission and no one will stop me. Yeah. Come on, pebbles! Use those back leg muscles. I'm so close, but I don't think I'm going the right way. Let's try and see a bit more. Ujits! I'm there! I have to find this limpy bandit. Wow. Okay. A lot to discover. So, I'm gonna visit the scribe. So that's an archery range. Let's go see the scribe because I need to learn how to read. Yeah. If I ever wanna craft some potions. Okay! I'm here, everyone! The grocer. Here? Or is this a house? This looks like a scribe. Hello, sir. Jesus Christ be praised. Ah, uh, the 
fellow with the limp shirt. I'm looking for a fellow who lives here, but I don't know his name. Do you know anyone with a limp? It must be that farmhand Lubosh. Lubosh. I don't know what the hell you'd want him for, and I don't much care. He's got a cottage on the edge of the village near the stream. He has a bad reputation? Hmm. I'd like to learn how to read. I'd like to learn to read. You? Hmm. You don't look like the makings of a priest or clerk. But why not? I've taught all sorts. Bear in mind, it won't be all that easy. You'll need plenty of time and a few groschen for my trouble. We can get started. All right. I don't want to waste time. We can get started. The sooner I master it, the better. Very well. I will require some groschen from you, though, and set aside at least a couple of days so I can put you through your paces, if indeed time is of the essence. Fifty groschen? Of course! Carry your groschen. Then we may as well start. No. He did break his vow, but better than to dishonor it here. May he follow his heart. That's awesome. Wake up, lad. It's time we were getting on. So, let's see you read a bit. There's a book here on the table. Try to read it. Will I manage? You ought to be able to. It's a simple text. Come back once you've worked your way through it. I shall start reading it. One day, a countryman going to the nest of his goose found there an egg, all yellow and glittering. When he took it up, it was as heavy as lead, and he was going to throw it away because he thought a trick had been played upon him. But he took it. Um, he took it home on second thoughts and soon found to his delight that it was an egg of pure gold. Every morning, the same thing occurred and he soon became rich by selling his eggs. As he grew rich, he grew greedy and thinking to get at once all the gold the goose could give, he killed it and opened it only to find nothing. What a great tale. Sir, I am done. I've read the book. I've read the book. Wonderful. So tell me, what have you learned? That being greedy does not pay. That being greedy doesn't pay. Excellent. You're one of my most talented pupils. You've uncovered the meaning hidden in the letters. Like I told you, books are valuable. And the words that you place in them ought to be no less so. Does that mm. mean that I can read them? Yes, you have the foundation. Remember, my boy, the pen is mightier than the sword. To fully learn your way around words will take a lot more reading yet. Now we'll move on to the second lesson, which will be much harder. Many books are written in Latin, the language of erudite and religious men. If you really want to be able to read, there's no getting away from Latin. There's a book on the table with some text. Read it and then come back. You need not understand it, but you should master the letters. I only just managed the fable about the goose, and now you're asking me to tackle Latin. You're a clever lad. You'll manage. Okay, where is this book? On the table? I shall read a tale of the Latin nature. And... This is not it. I shall sit. And I shall read. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes. I am reading.
I have read. Uh, sir? Okay. I read the page. I read the page? So Please tell me, do not quiz me. Distrupule. What's written there? Oh no. I think I saw Prosit. Uh, nullus est liber tam malus. Uh, oops. Mm -hmm. Non uh, liquor parte prosit. Good heavens! Don't tell me you haven't had lessons before. Excellent. Well, there's nothing more I can teach. I'm a prodigy. Congratulations. You can go and be ordained right away. Thank you, Domine. I'm feeling a lot uh, wiser. <laughs> Good job, Henry. Great. You know how to read. You're a true scholar of the medieval times. Domine Dogos. I don't think... I don't know what I just said. Okay. Don't quote me on this. Do not quote me. Let's continue exploring. The lodgings. Uh, there's a rumor. Here. There might be a rumor. With you? I hope I can be of help to you, Knight. Knight? I love this new title. The fellow with a limp. I'm looking for a fellow who lives here, but I don't know his name. Do you know anyone with a limp? Well, what would you want with him? Well, it's no skin off my nose. I'm just looking for him. has a cottage on the edge of the village by the road to Ratai. And what's happening around Is here? Is there anything suspicious dear, going on in these parts? Indeed, there is. Mm hmm. Just last night, Father Godwin was here, calling fire and brimstone down on old Gertrude, the herb woman. He's not one to make a fuss over some trifle either. And there's more. Around here, <laughs> you should hear about what Vashek the groom has been up to at the stables. <laughs> when the head groom told the lads here, they fell off their seats laughing. <laughs> What happened? Okay, is there anything else is there anything I should know about? Is going on in these parts? Nothing out of the ordinary, praise. Great. Take care now. Thank you for everything. Pretzel House. And what's here? A grocer? Okay, a grocer. So there's no blacksmith here. Oh, maybe here. Huh, that's interesting. Okay, let's go here. How lovely is this? Look at this view! Here. What's wrong?
there's blood on the door or something. Move along, citizens. Move along. There's nothing to see here. Oh, really? If that's what you call nothing to see. I'd like to know what something to see looks like. I have a key to St. Peter. This is all I need. We'll have to send word to Sir Hanush. That might not be necessary. Yeah, he's aware. I'm Henry of Scalitz, in the service of Hanish's Captain Bernard. I'm investigating the attack at Neuhof, and I think this could be related. Well, I'm the bailiff of Auschwitz. And I say we don't want any of that kind of trouble around here. What makes you think this has anything to do with Neuhof? One of the folk at the stud farm recognized someone from Auschwitz among the bandits. We have no bandits or murderers around here. Really? They say you had a limp? Shit. Yeah. Allow me to introduce you to Limpy Lubosch. Or all that's left of him. All that's left of him? Oh my gosh! I was not expecting <sighs> that! I'll have to take a look around and ask a few more questions, if that's alright with you. You can take this mess off my hands and welcome to it. As for what else there is to find out, I don't know. But look and ask all you like. But why would you say there's no murderers? Someone clearly did that. Well, maybe not in Ujits, but... Oh my gosh, I was not expecting that. Who was Limpy Lubosch? Who was Limpy Lubosch? A poor crofter and a scoundrel. Can't say I'm too surprised what happened to him. He kept company really? with all sorts of vermin. He was always getting into some kind of trouble. Punch-ups in the tavern and what have you. Why did he limp? How come he limped? He got that from some villainy or brawl a long time ago. Do you know about anything suspicious? Has he been up to anything suspicious? Let's start lately? there. Hmm. I don't know. The last few days he didn't go anywhere. He was home the whole time. But he always kept everyone in the village at arm's length. Did he have any... any bros? Did he have any kith or kin in the village? None. A loner he was. A loner? I don't know the last time I saw him with anyone. And where was he? Do you happen to know where he was on the night of the Neuhof raid? I've no idea. He kept his distance from other folk. So you never knew if he was away or holed up at home. Well, that's not much to go on. Okay. More about Another thing. But I, I think I asked everything. Yeah. When was he when found? When did you find the body? And did anyone see anything? Just now. And nobody saw or heard anything. I don't know how they could gut him like that without someone hearing him scream. Could the other bandits... Do this to him because he ran away. Hmm. Very bizarre and very, very disgusting. So they just wiped their hands there, sir. Open. Hmm. I don't want to go in. What do I have to do? Find out more. I mean, I need to inspect the body. Because this is bad. This is really bad. These bandits are monsters. We all remember what happened. And I'm sure you heard of it. Don't look down. You know what I'm talking about. I need to go in. Oh, let's close the door. Don't look. Okay. 
this is... This is like a... They arranged him... So he would be like a spectacle. Huh. Who did this? Torso? Not at both, they did a hell of a job on him. Must have been agony. How come no one heard anything? The head near the foot. What's this? Looks like someone's hit him very hard on the head. Could they have bludgeoned him to death and then gutted him? That would explain why he didn't scream. So we have the head, we have the torso. Reed. Judas. Looks like this is Judas. Meant to be a warning. But for who? The gang had a falling out. But a bandit who knows how to write isn't something you see every day. Judas. So who did he betray? Okay, can I find anything else? Hmm. Nothing here. Judas, can I is there anything else to look at? I don't I don't see anything. So a bed. A bed. Okay. Nothing unusual. What a weird nothing situation. Unusual. Okay, so there's nothing here. Am I missing something? Deal with fire. Okay, so I really don't see anything... Oh! Ordinary tar jacket. Armor? Well, it seems Lubosh wasn't your everyday crofter. And judging by the bloodstains, it looks like he lived the way he died. Is there anything else I'm missing? Torso. Oh, that's. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Well. Good day to you. To you as well. Another thing about me, boss. I found bloody armor at his house. I found armor in his house, covered in blood. God preserve us! Everyone knows he was a violent oaf, but I never thought he'd stoop to murder. At least he never did that here. God be with you. Okay. I have to find out more. Oh my gosh, that's a huge area. I could ask around. Huh. I could ask around. So, blood? Is there any trail I can follow? I wish I could say seek to mutt. But I'm not high level enough just yet. 
So nothing here. What a weird situation. How am I going to find any clues? I'll have to ask around if anyone knows more about this Limpy Lubosh. Okay, I'm gonna ask around. I'm gonna ask everybody I meet. No one here. Hello? Hello? No. Where am I going? Where am I even going? I'll take pebbles. Pebby! Okay. Yeah. No time to waste. Ma'am! Greetings. What do you need? Have you seen anything? I come in the name of Sahanish of Lipo. I'm investigating the massacre in Neuhof, and now a murder here as well. Can I ask you a few questions? Ask away. Who was who he? Who was this Lubosh who was murdered? He was a drunkard and a beast, and lazy too. Idle hands are the devil's tools. So a waste of breath. Got it. Did you notice anything you suspicious? Anything suspicious recently? The only thing seemed suspicious was how a rogue like him suddenly started going to church. Now I see why, of course. Huh, that's interesting. What was he doing the day of the raid? Do you raid? know what Lubosch was doing the day Neuhoff was raided? What do I care about that scoundrel? I was glad he stayed out of my way. And who did he meet with? Do you with? know who Lubosch used to spend time with? Kin or friends? He was always a loner. Except lately, he started talking to the parish priest. The priest? That's all. Thank you. So maybe he was feeling guilty God about bless. something or... Something is not adding up. And I need to know more. And where's this priest? Uh, there's a church here, so... Hmm. A white horse. Beautiful, beautiful specimen. The horse trader. Sir, <gasps> you have gorgeous animals. The head groom. Good day to you. And to you as well, please, I need help. I've come in the name of Sir Hanush of Lyper. I'm investigating the massacre in Neuhof, and now a murder here as well. Can I ask you a few questions? Of course, ask away. Who was he? That man Lubosch who was murdered. What was he like? He was a drunk who was always looking for a fight. Nobody liked him much. But I wouldn't wish an end like that on any man. And who Do you know was anyone Lubosch used to spend time with? Relatives or friends? He was a Probably loner. He didn't priest. even have any mates in the tavern. Which is That's weird. All. Thank you. Any work going here? Enough for a dozen men. You could take the place of that useless stable hand Vashek for a start. What happened? Did he do something wrong? Just found out that he lost our pie. Lost it where? In his stomach? No, no. <laughs> pie was our fastest stallion. A lovely oh, dapple. No. Oh, well, that's bad news. How did Vashek manage to lose him? He fell, banged his head, and the horse bolted. Can you fathom it? A stable hand falling off a horse. And then Pi took off at a gallop. I'll try to well, find him. Well, I can't take Vashek's job, but I can try to find your pie. That would be nice of you. 
If there's anything you need to know, ask that fool. I was too livid to even speak to him. Right. <laughs> That's a cute name for a horse. I like it. Uh, let, show like me your horses. Horse. Well, no. Have you seen our steeds? Not yet. Not yet. You won't sell anything to me? Then go and have a look in the stables, so you know what you're buying. God be with you. Okay. Well, not- I'm, I mean, not right now. I'm on a quest. This can wait. I need to find more about this Lubash. So, let's talk to this priest because... Something is not adding up. <gasps> oh, this is so beautiful. Bother you, sir, but Father Godwin. Can I ask you a few questions? The blessings of our good Lord be with you, Father. I'm here in the name of Sahanish of Lypa, investigating the massacre at Neuhof, which seems to be connected to a murder here. Can I ask you a few questions? It seems Sir Hanush is employing children as investigators. But ask as you wish, boy. I hope this nasty business will be cleared up quickly. Did you know Lubosh? What was he like? A bit of a lost soul. Simple, rough fellow, but at heart I don't think he was such a bad person. Hmm. Did you see or notice anything Did suspicious? Did you notice anything suspicious recently? My child, all sorts of suspicious things have been going on recently. People like Lubos don't know what to do about it, and sometimes they do stupid things. That's really not a lot of help to me, Father. I'm yeah. sorry to hear that. <laughs> Please. What was Lubosh doing on the day of the Neuhof raid? Do you know what Lubosh was doing must know on the day Neuhof was raided? Unfortunately, I do know. And I'd like to help you with your investigation, but I can't. What? Come on. I'm bound by certain vows that forbid me to tell you. Vows more important than catching dangerous murderers? There are laws of God above the laws of man, son. And one of those is the sanctity of the confessional. I understand. I understand. But the man who confessed something is now deceased. <laughs> so please, Father God, Father Godwin, there has to be some exception. Father, surely you can't be serious. There must be situations in which you can make an exception. There are things that apply always, no matter what the circumstances, and this is one of them. Please, you cannot hurt him now. But Lubosh is dead. You can't hurt him, but if you don't tell me, more innocent people may die. If I told you I would <sighs> be betraying a vow that's a cornerstone of the Holy Church, if people believed the sanctity of the confessional couldn't be trusted, the consequences would be even worse than that. Worse than the death of innocent Christians. Worse than the murderer escaping punishment. No one escapes punishment. Father! Please! Uh, Father, Lubosh was my only lead I beg to the of you. Raiders. Only he could tell me who was responsible for that massacre. If I don't find out who it was, it will probably happen again. Surely you wouldn't want that. I wouldn't. But I can't betray the sanctity of the confessional. I'll tell you what. Give me some time, and I'll try to think up some way of helping you. Suppose we don't we have any it over in time. The evening, in the tavern. Over a cup of good wine. Maybe we'll come up with something. All right. Thank you, Father. Take care now. It's kind of infuriating, actually. That he wouldn't want to help us.
Like, I understand his point of view, and I understand. But I don't agree! So now he wants to... Talk it over some wine? Mutt? Can you believe that? Can you believe the man? That's a good boy. I know you That's understand me. Does anyone else have a lead? Who are you? Just some villagers. Okay. Let's see what this priest has to say. I could maybe... Maybe I have some skills I can take. Speech! Perfect! Why minus one? Am I dirty? Haggling. This could be really useful. Higher reputation when you talk to women. Maybe later, but I feel like this one could be really helpful, so... I'll take it. And drinking. Beer bibber. The beer you get is 50% weaker, so you can drink more, but wine is twice as strong? Okay. Under the influence of alcohol, your hand will shake 25% less and your bow skill is higher. But when sober, your hand will shake 25% more. <laughs> That's so interesting. Um... Okay, I don't think I'm gonna take this just yet. I don't think I have other... What? Reading! Reading! I have a point! All books are cheaper. Huh. This could be really interesting. Okay. And what else? Okay. So I'll sit and wait for him. Concubine? I didn't know that was a thing. Jesus, what do I have to do to get a drink here? Okay. Father Godwin. I'm sorry I can't tell you everything. But maybe we can work something out. But first I'd to like to deal? hear something about you, my son. With whom do I have the honor? Where are you from? I'm from Scalitz. I'm from Scalitz. Oh, I'm sorry. What about your kin? My kin are... They're dead. No more. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Here, we'll drink to them. It must have been terrible. It was... It was. It was terrible. It seemed so pointless. We had no warning. They just appeared and began the slaughter. God knows why. They killed anyone who didn't make it to the shelter of the castle. My parents, my girl, even the Deutsch who was on Sigismund's side. I didn't make it to the castle. I wanted to try and help my parents, but there was nothing I could do. Then I fled to Talmberg with the Cumans on my heels. They almost killed me. They slaughtered people in the surrounding villages. There was a pile of bodies in front of the church in Rovna. Folk who tried to take refuge there, but they... My poor child. May God grant them eternal rest. And how did you come to get this assignment? 
I'd have expected Sir Hanish to send that old grouch, Bernard. Bernard has a reputation. Well... You think I'm too young for the job, Father? I do, to tell the truth. Well, I can only apologize for my lack of gray hair and gout. Come on, Now Henry. the most important thing. What actually happened at Noyo? The good folks here about are saying all kinds of terrible things. But I take and most of right. them with a pinch of salt. They weren't exaggerating. The rumors aren't exaggerated this time. And it might happen again. The Neuhof stud farm was know. raided by bandits. But they didn't come to pillage or even take the horses. They only wanted to kill. They maimed the horses and slaughtered some people. I'm sure they would have killed more, but the bandits quarreled among themselves and broke off the attack. And judging by what's left of our Lubosch, they're still settling accounts. I see it's every bit as bad as people claimed. Mm-hmm. Dreadful. Well and then, worse. here's to those poor souls who had to die so pointlessly and so terribly. I've told you all about me. Now it's your turn, Father. You don't look much like our parish priest at home. Well, we've had an agreeable chat, but now let's get down to business. So, about this confessional seal. Do you really want more innocent people to die? Henry, that's not how it works. There are matters it in is, which though. you can't make exceptions, because if you do it once... You'll forever be tempted to do it again. If people stop believing in the church of because their confessional secrets honor are betrayed, for him, I feel like. they won't trust anyone, and that's for worse than even the most hideous crime. I get it, but Lubosh is dead now, so... I mean, I, I reached a dead end at this point. I understand, but that means I've reached a dead end. Those cutthroats will strike again, and I can't stop them. Chin up, lad. I might have a solution. What? If I tell you what Lubosch told me, I'd be betraying the confessional secret. But, first thing tomorrow, I'll try something I think might help you. Word of honor? On my soul. Okay. I always wondered about the things a priest tells his congregation. Where else do you get the ideas for your sermons? Well, Ujits is in Prague. It's not enough to instruct people. They have to be entertained, too. If I only read from the Bible, I'd soon be preaching to an empty church. <laughs> Our priest wasn't exactly a bard. So what do you preach to your flock about? It has to be something topical. Condemning vices. And, of course, describing them in detail. A tongue lashing <laughs> about the two popes goes down well these days. And stories from real life with a nice moral to them are popular as well, especially if they're about fornication and similar scandalous vices. <laughs> Can you give me an example? Well, <laughs> recently a priest by the name of Jan Hus started preaching in Prague in the Czech Jan language, Hus. and the people liked it. I hear he always Didn't has Teresa a full house. tell us about him? A journeyman who heard him told me what Hus is preaching, and I like the sound of it. I'm thinking about putting it in my own repertoire. What's so amazing about it? The preaching of Master Jan Hus about Mother Church. The lamentable wealth in which the church is drowning has turned to poison. And nearly the whole of Christendom is contaminated. Just like a flock of hungry ravens, they settled on this land to devour every grain of gold and silver. They know no mercy. Their hearts are corrupted by longing for wealth. And they shamelessly profit from everything. You want to baptize a child? Pay. You want to steal and murder? Pay and you will have absolution. What if the devil himself were to pay? Would he ascend to heaven too? With such money gained from the poor, they buy beautiful horses to ride and needless servants to pamper them. They gamble at dice and dress their whores in expensive furs. While Jesus Christ walked barefoot and had no place to lay his head. Look to your consciences, you robbers of the poor, for you are seen by God and his people too. Amen. <laughs> well, okay. this Jan Hu's character is quite a rebel. Oh, the congregation will love it. I don't doubt it. Let's drink to that. Funny. That last bit reminds me of someone. What do you mean? My situation's completely different. 
Huth preaches against the prelates and the clerics who are robbing the poor. Look at me. I don't have a pot to piss in. I know better off than the folk I preach to. I'm one with them in poverty and suffering and everything that troubles them. I drink with them and curse those stuffed habits and sass off monsters. Very passionate. Well, you want to preach? Well, what do you think of Hoos? What do you think of this Jan Hoos? He's certainly a wise man. A little overzealous for my taste. If he got out of Prague and came here for a look, I'm sure he'd stop condemning drinking and lying with women. Where can I find out more Are about Are we going to meet teachings? him? You like it? I copied down some of his sermons. If you're interested, you can read them at my presbytery. Huh, I'll do that. Actually, what are folks saying about it? What do the common folk think of it? They like it. They're happy to hear someone say what they think themselves, but are afraid to say aloud. Things that make them angry. And they're calling for change. In a few years, it'll have grown beyond control. You mark my words, the people will rise up and the church will be shaken to its very foundations. Yeah, unless they burn him at the stake first. <laughs> Nonsense. They can't burn a master of the most respected university in Europe? Huh. Uh, you want to preach against debauchery? Don't you think it's a bit odd when someone boozes and lives in sin with a woman and then criticizes the Pope for, be for, for debauchery? <laughs> no, I don't. Huh. Okay. Enough. Thanks for the sermon, but I think I've been morally uplifted enough. Oh, it's getting quite late. What are your plans, Father? <laughs> what do you suppose? We have a drink, of course. Drink some more? Sure. Ah, Why not? That sounds like a good plan. I knew you wouldn't <laughs> let me down. Good old Henry. So this priest is living with a woman, which is interesting. Interesting character. <laughs> I can't even Enough stand anymore. Oh. Bailiff. We're having too much Come fun. Come over here. Sit down and have a drink with us. Don't vex me again, Father. It's three hours past dusk, and curfew is long gone. So what? So, I'll have you all whipped and put in the stocks, and I'll write a letter to the bishop about you, priest. Uh -oh. Well, nothing to worry about then. Everyone knows the only one around here who can write is me. <laughs> Enough! Men, throw them out. I'm just trying to have more information. Oh. oh. You looking for a fight? No. Henry, back me up. I can't fight the bailiff. No. Henry. I'm trying to help them. Not antagonize them. Oh, no. I don't want to. Bring it on. Come and get it. I like music. We'll just have a bit of a punch up. Oh no, I I'm I didn't want any trouble, honestly. I discover a pillory. Well. 
poor kid. And I'm burping. Burping and fighting. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. Is this the pillory? I'd love to. And Henry too, I'm sure. Right, Henry. Stop what that is happening? Godwin. Are you out of your mind? What will people say? They can say what they like. What do I care? What do they do to me? Whoa. Watch the step. I'm so drunk. Be careful, you don't hurt yourself. Godwin, where am I? Soon. Oh my gosh, I'm so drunk. Can I even... I'm in a private area. Okay. <laughs> Here we are. Look at this beauty. <sighs> we can't what do is this, happening? Can we? Who says? Get ringing, wench. <laughs> no. Henry! I'm trying to be respectable. It was wonderful. <laughs> oh, no. That's the priest. And now, my dears, comes the climax of the evening. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> God, <my laughs> goat. Come here. What happened? <gasps> oh no. I have a girlfriend. <laughs> Do something. I I'm shocked. I've lost control completely. What is this? Oh my gosh. What is he doing? Oh. He's <laughs> I think you're confused. Oh my <laughs> Well, I have to say that was a fine evening. Well, I made a friend. A turn. I'm trying to be respectable. What is Sir Bernard gonna say? I'm on a mission here. Godwin, you beast. Get up. Do you hear me? Drinking with the priest. Wake up, you drunkards! Oh, fuck it out. How many days oh, has it been? Oh, what the... Oh, who the hell are you? Oh, Henry. My great friend, Henry. Didn't we have a wonderful time? Well, you oh. certainly did, you old lecher. Now you better pull yourself together quick. You haven't much time. There's some water and something to eat on the table there, but if I were you, I would move my hairy arse before my flock eats me alive. Oh. Oh, what have I head. done? Oh my guts. Oh, my poor suffering stomach. <laughs> oh. I would have never thought 
This quest would go there. Oh, my flock eats me alive. With a priest. I've forgotten something. What have I forgotten? Where the fuck am I? What the <laughs> fuck was it? Oh. Mass. Oh, I have shit, a job I have to, to do. Say mass. I gotta say mass. You have to help me. What? Oh, no. You're the priest. I can't do it in this state. Maybe the liturgy. But you I think I'm better? As well. Oh, this is a disaster. They're gonna excommunicate me. I'd like to help you, but you this can. is your job, you, sir. You can do the sermon for me. What? <laughs> so first, I investigate a murder no one wants yeah. investigated. Then I drunkenly keep the whole town up all night. And now you want me to preach at them from the pulpit? It makes no sense. Do you want them to burn us at the stake? No. No, I've got it. Suppose it's Sir Ratzig's protege. You just came from oh. studying in Prague. And you want to share the words of Master Jan Hus, who you recently heard preaching there. Oh no, I haven't though. Henry, look. From what I remember, we might have overdone it a bit last night. And if a the bailiff bit. or someone else complains about me, the bishop's going to have my guts for garters. So I'd appreciate it. Stop gaping at me like a stuffed squirrel and start helping. <laughs> You're mad. <laughs> You're start raving mad. I'm not. It's a perfect plan. Yeah, you kind of are, though. Flawless. <clears throat> no. Oh. How about That's... this? If you help me with this, I'll tell you who Lubosh's cronies are. Oh, my gosh. I reached a new level in drinking. I can't believe it. The confession. Oh, I am I considering this? Am I even considering this? The confessional seal isn't sacred anymore. So all at once, the confessional seal isn't so sacred. Don't mock me. I won't give you a second chance. Well, you're kind of ridiculous, sir. It's so tempting, though. I mean... At this point... I'm sure it won't hurt. It's ridiculous. And not very dignified, what we did. But I'll do it. <sighs> Well, all right. Well, I can't make any promises about I what I need to go after these bandits. No, neither can I. What do you want me to do exactly? I'll go and start the liturgy. Oh then my I'll gosh. introduce you. You give the sermon I told you yesterday in the tavern, and that's that. No need to drag it out. Okay. If it turns out well, I'll tell you what I know about Lubos. If it turns Christ out Almighty. well? Fine then. We have a deal. Wonderful. So I Let's might fail. Get to it then. Oh no. I haven't. Oh no. I'm shady. I'm. What is going on? Okay, let's get dressed. But why is my conspicuousness at 100? And how can I... It's because I'm drunk? Okay. I'm so drunk. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. But I'm still drunk, father. Oh my gosh, I'm so tipsy. And I have to preach. <gasps> Reputation lost? I'm making a fool of myself. Oh no. This is never show up. horrible. Look at him. He can hardly walk after his capers last night. 
You were with them, you beast. Just you wait. Look at him. Mother of God. Any minute now, we throw up. He might, actually. <laughs> so I couldn't sleep a wink last night with all that clamor. Yeah, what was that about? Huh. There was a In bell ringing patris, and... Et fili et spiritus sancti. Amen. Accepit panem in sanctas at venerabiles amanus suas. <clears throat> Hac facite in meam commemorationem. Brothers and yeah. sisters, you may have had the honor of meeting Henry from Scalitz, oh, no. who is here Please. at the behest of Sir Hanush oh. to investigate that heinous crime at Neuhof. You might not know that Henry recently visited Prague, where, by the grace of God, was able to hear Master Jan Hus from the esteemed Charles University. Please, this needs to go well. I've managed to persuade Henry to stand here today in my stead and tell us what he heard. Oh no. Because, as you all probably know, Jan Hus is a very popular preacher in Prague. So Henry, you may begin. Curious which one of them will puke first. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Dear people of Ujits, um, first of all, let's be modest. <clears throat> uh, brothers and sisters in Christ. I would, um, uh, uh, I would like to talk to you about our Holy Mother Church and what iniquities it's declining into. Boy, is a cheek. Okay, I succeeded. Um, I, it is not man. Creation has given to every man oh the gosh. power by which he might rule the whole world. But... That power does not give him the right to rule. That right belongs to God alone. <clears throat> yes, it does. I shall continue modestly, It people. is the corruption of God's pastors here on earth that has brought misfortune on our heads. Uh, plague, humans, hunger, and, and, and chaos. The accursed wealth that the church is drowning in is poisoning almost the whole of Christendom. When dogs are fighting over a bone, take the bone and they will stop. Just like the flock of ravens that has descended on this land to peck up every speck of gold and silver. They show okay. no mercy. Their hearts are poisoned them, by covetousness. They trade everything. Everything is for sale. You want to baptize a child? Pay. You want to steal and murder? Pay and you will have absolution. And the prelates sin and give themselves absolution. For shame! Shame upon them! Yes! Rise up! To sin is human! It is the custom of the gluttonous prelates and monks to preach against sin. But what do they know of us ordinary folk? Yeah. Let us remember the marriage at Cana, where our Lord Jesus Christ himself feasted with the other guests and drank his fill. And when the wine was gone, he performed a miracle and created more. He, whose companions were poor travellers, simple folk, prostitutes and troublemakers, performed a miracle so the feast could continue. Now that's the kind of sermon I like to hear. Well, there you have no, it. No, brothers and sisters. Jesus did not condemn alcohol. Drink to lighten the cross you bear in this veil of tears, but not with such abandon that you cannot keep holy the Sabbath. 
For there should be moderation in all things, and it is not drinking itself that is sinful, but intemperance and beastly indulgence. He's right. I continue modestly. Enough about sin, which the prelates are so fond of preaching about, and whose absolution they promise if you only pay enough coin to Mother Church. What if the devil himself were to pay? Will the bishops tell us he too would ascend well. to heaven? And what about those bishops? They sin without remorse, and with the money grasped from the poor for indulgences, they keep fine horses and hordes of servants to pamper them. They play dice and garb their mistresses in expensive furs, while Christ, the Lamb of God, walked barefoot and had nowhere to lay his head. Look to your consciences, you robbers of the poor, for you are seen by God and his people too. Down with the prelates. Away with them. We're fortunate to have our good father Godwin. At least he's a fair and simple man. I'm going to try and c- I conclude. say to you, in the words of Jan Hus, he who knows much, let him speak much. He who knows little, let him speak little. Let each speak as much as he knows, and he who knows nothing, let him at least teach his neighbour one virtuous deed by setting him good example and refraining from playing dice and from fornication. And that applies both to priests and to you, brothers and sisters. That is conclusion. Yeah. That is all I heard in Prague. That's enough. Amen. Well... That went well, right? Enough. Okay. That is all. Thank you. The lad spoke well, considering what a soak he is. <laughs> He's right, that was. The young man shouldn't drink so much, but the Lord's True. given him a silver I'm glad he came here. I don't suppose I'll ever get to Okay. He told it nicely. What? What a day. Well, well, my boy. You have talent, and I can't deny it. And you pulled a thorn from my side. I almost didn't make it. Yeah, I noticed. Yeah. <laughs> well, I wasn't the only one. Oh, what's to be done? I'll make it up somehow. So, about our bargain. Although it's a sin. Uh, so it's gluttony. And fornication. God does forgive a penitent. So... <sighs> What did Limpy Lubosh tell you? <laughs> I'm was so done with him. That day? Who was with him? And, and, and where are they now? Now slow down. I'm sorry, but he didn't tell me that much. Don't let me down after all I've been through. For you? Well, now Lubosh came to me shortly after it happened. And his conscience was gnawing at him. And I must say, uh, in the end, he turned out to be a better man than he looked. He said... They'd been hired through some crony of theirs. And at first they were just to steal some horses. But then it all turned sour and people started getting killed. And neither he nor his cronies wanted anything to do with that. So they fell out from the gang and fled. Okay. Fell out. That much we figured. Yeah, there was a body found in the woods by Neuhof. That would explain something. Uh, Lubos kept jabbering that he wasn't a murderer, that he didn't want to do it. So I know that Lubosch killed the murderer and he's dead too. The trouble is, Mm -hmm. I need to find the ones who are still alive. I need names and places. Did he mention any of the others? Uh, Only nicknames. Uh, Talked about some fella called Riki from Ledechko. Pius, Timmy. Pius. (laughs) That lot are about as pious as I am ordained. Nonsense. You would make an excellent priest. I'll leave that Anyhow, to you, sir. With your skills, you ought to be able to sniff out this Riki from Ledechko, right? Riki. Well, we'll have to now. There's not much else to go on. Let's hope he's not hanging from the wall, too. <sighs> Indeed. And I'd hate to be excommunicated for nothing. Anyhow, good luck. You watch out for yourself. These people clearly mean business. And I'd like to raise a tankard with you again sometime. Yeah. I'll, I'll think it. about it. Although I'm not sure I'd survive another night of your debauchery. Yeah. <laughs> and if anyone should ask... You heard nothing from me. Of course. I'll deny everything. I don't doubt it. I can't believe it. 
Father Godwin. What a rascal. So, I have to track down Riki, one of the members of the Neuhoff gang, should be somewhere in the vicinity of Ledechko. I don't think it's gonna be a pleasant encounter. Catch the scent of this Riki? <laughs> okay. Ledechko is here. Okay, so we're gonna look for him. But I'm gonna stop here. This was a lot. But I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.